hi this is in continuation of the slider crank mechanism tutorials for space claim in the earlier tutorials we have created this uh, slider crank mechanism inside space claim from scratch and we have designed different assembly conditions or constraints between these components and we also saw it in motion now we have developed a motion and dynamic simulation add-in for a space claim that is named SC motion so when you have an assembly that has different assembly conditions we go to SC motion tab and click on update so all the conditions and the components are converted and these are listed here let's minimize this so that we have better space okay there you can see the co there are four components and these many joints and we are interested with giving a rotation to uh, cylindrical joint 2 so we right click on cylindrical joint 2 and we set joint input so rotation can be set here for the crank we click on enable rotation and we give a value of 360 degrees per second that is 2 pi radians per second click on ok once that is done we click on simulate button once the simulation results are out the playback deck is enabled so you click on play forward and this is how the mechanism will move when you prescribe a rotation of 360 degrees per second you can go in the reverse direction you can stop anywhere go frame by frame you can go to the end positions as well so if you want to change your motion let's see how periodic motion would behave let's again simulate it once the simulation results are out you can see the rotation it goes 90 degrees in one direction again in the reverse direction it goes 90 and comes back to the earlier position we also have provisions for plots as output you click on graph plot plot window comes up so you can uh, I would like to remind the viewers that we are doing kinematic analysis right now so if you are interested to see the position of say slider we'll go to position and uh, we'll be interested in say x this is how the position of x will move this is y would be 0 z would also be 0 so if you want to in look at how the velocity moves this is the velocity profile of the sliders origin and uh, these are the if you are interested in cylindrical joint and we are giving this rotation we have done inverse dynamics and this is how the torque would look like to attain this particular rotation and these are the reactive forces along x and y and these are the reactive moments along x and y axis okay this is about the graph plot we have and another interesting feature we have is of recording the animation so if you, once the simulation results are available if you click on record 
so we can go to my documents and set it as say slider crank this is a small bug so I'll just click on again slider crank okay so you can see that recording is taking place that's why the playback speed has gone down a bit once the recording is complete we can go to say my documents and okay as you can see we have recorded a simulation okay that's what we have for sc motion this is a very basic example that i have shown you we have uh, more examples to come where we consider much more complex mechanisms and assemblies thank you